five minutes for the next 10 years of your career in ArcVis. So there is a huge problem that happening in the, the world of ArcVis right now. My name is Ronaldo, by the way, as a 3D artist that I own my own academy and I'm kind of shocked what happened in this industry right now because most of my students, uh, when they joining the academy and then most of the 3D artists, new 3D artists that joining the Facebook group or even my, on my friend list asking the same question that I asked like when I started out on 2008. So always ask the wrong question, which is how to create a photorealistic rendering. That is the first thing. And the second thing is, sir, give me the render setting, sir. And sir, give me the uh, uh, computer specification, sir. So that's not the case, as uh, you know. <clears throat> so here's the thing. If you asking the wrong question, you will get the wrong answer and chances are you will get no answer. And that is what happened to me and when I started out. So on 2008, I joined lots of forums in this industry. There are no Facebook group that time, only forums. And I asked uh, on every threads on the forums if I saw they have a very good image and I post on their uh, threads and asking for the render setting. Sir, you're, you have a very beautiful image. Can you uh, share your render setting to me, sir? And <laughs> I didn't get any answer. And I come up with, uh, I joined the biggest Indonesian architectural visualization forum that, that time. And I got three answers. The first answer is, they say that you need to learn about fear render setting. And that fear render setting, sorry for the noise uh, if you heard it because my kid is still swimming in the pool. So I'm outside of my house and also trying to find a fresh air. So they say that you need a fear render setting and here's mine, you can use it. Right? So like three or four people sending me the fear render setting and somehow the rendering times become slower, like 300% slower. So there are no different when I test it. It's just the different is about the shadows. And I, I'm not, uh, it's just for me that time, it doesn't make any sense because I don't know what, uh, what is the use of the Fury Render setting, right? And then the second uh, answer that they say that you need to find on YouTube or Google. Uh, and then somehow I trying to find it uh, I didn't get any because I only type how to create photorealistic rendering. So, you know, YouTube and Google is a very good resources. It's just, if you type the wrong question, you will get the wrong answer. And most of the video is just uh, like explaining the, the workflow, how to create photorealistic rendering. And here's the thing, people hear what they want to hear and people see what they want to see. So there's a bee around me. But anyway, uh, that is actually what I want to hear at uh, that time is to get one script or some one figure in the setting that I need to press one button and boom, I will get the photorealistic result, which is, is that that is not the case. And so that is why I spent two years that uh, for nothing. I waste two years for nothing and I'm really frustrated and almost quit. And But fortunately, uh, I decided to give my uh, last chance, which is I uh, took the third answer, which is that is the, the best advices, uh, the best advice from one of the same Indonesian senior artists. He said, Ronaldo, rendering is a journey. It's not just pressing one button and boom, you get the result. You need to enjoy the process. You need to trust the process. You need to start from the very beginning, which is the modeling. Add as many details as you can. 
This is not something like creating a book and selling it on the convenient uh, store and or like a like something like a bookstore and then you just pay it and then get the things. So this is a production. You need to understand that this is a process and this is a journey. So that time I decided to quit from anything uh, like trying to get the fear in the setting and trying to find it out on the YouTube with the wrong question. So it comes to practice. And he also mentioned about practice. It's all about practice, practice, practice. So the thing is, I, what I got is you need to, uh, that time I need to change my, my mindset. And that time I realized that the days when you don't feel like doing it is actually the days that matter the most and makes all the difference. So, for example, if you don't want to practice and right now you actually have to go to the gym and you actually choose to sleep for the next two hours every day, chances are you are not going to have any transformation. And, and that is the days when you are sleeping, that is the, the, the champion is crushing it. And they, because they use the time for practice. So that is the thing that I got from my experience, which is, it's more than five minutes. Sorry, it's right now, it's like more than six minutes. But that is the thing that I want to share with you so you don't have to get through the difficulties that I, uh, uh, experience on my early of my journey so if you like to have a step-by-step -step and complete production framework just click the link on the description below or something uh, somewhere on the, this video uh, and you will get it for free and I already prepared it for you so and if you are enjoying this video and think that this video brought value to you Please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell button on our channel and, and follow our fan page. And don't forget to text your friend as many as possible so they can have the benefit of this video just like you. And again, my name is Ronaldo from Tuji Studio and I'll see you on the next video.